What's up you guys? Welcome to a new video in Kevin's stash. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the story of how I missed out on a console generation. The console generation I missed out on was the Wii U console generation, which was 2012 through 2017. And here's why. So the year is 2012. I had already known about the Wii U by that time when it came out. I think the reason or the only way I found out about the Wii U was because of New Super Mario Bros. U and the ads they would show once in a while on TV and some I saw on YouTube. But it wasn't until 2013 with the launch of, New Su of Super Mario 3D World that I really wanted to get a Wii U. And at the time, I still have the Wii, but I had a Wii at the time. And I think my parents believed that the Wii U was basically a Wii accessory. They thought like the tablet was like, that was the only good thing about it. So they didn't buy me the Wii U. So that's how I didn't get to play 3D World. But even after that, I would still tell them that if I could get a Wii U. And they would just say, why? Why would you want to get a Wii U if it's a Wii? And they actually once told me that. The Wii U is basically the Wii, but with a U. And I kind of would understand where they're coming from. Like some games I showed them, for example, the new Super Mario Bros. U. When I showed them that game, they were all like, don't you already have this game on the Wii? Which was new Super Mario Bros. Wii. And then I showed them 3D World. And that was the one I'm all like, they don't have this one on the Wii. And they're all like, but you already have other Mario games. Why would you want to play that one? When there's like Super Mario Galaxy and other games. Even though at the time, I didn't have Galaxy. So basically, after that, I just gave up. Uh, I think like around 2016, I asked once again. When we went to this like furniture store, which had a Wii U on display. I believe it was a Nintendo Land with Super Mario 3D World bundle. So that's how... They even saw the console and they saw it had the tablet and all that. I think the only thing that like scared them was the price which was like $350. Since the Wii U at the time was probably kind of rare since it was already at the end of its lifespan. And meanwhile that there I had no consoles or any new thing besides the Wii. Which was which I admit is fun because I at least got new games between that time period and I got to play some games I probably wouldn't have played if I had gotten a Wii U and it was until 2015 uh, Christmas 2015 or 2016 one of those years where I got a 3DS and that's another story I'll tell in for another video let me know if you guys want to know the story of my first 3DS not the one I have right now, which is the 2DS. That is actually not my first 3DS console. I used to have one before, but something happened. So that'll be for another video. Let me know if you guys want to hear about that story. So after that, I just gave up on asking for a Wii U. Even though, I, even though a few years later, like after the Switch launched, I would still see some Wii U's on, on shelves. I kind of didn't want to get one anymore after the Switch came out. And over time, I feel like the Wii U sort of became redundant. And I think I probably would have regretted getting it in the long run. And I probably wouldn't even have majority of the Switch games I have. Because most of the games are re-releases. Which I'm actually thankful for. Especially for 3D World. Which I thought I would never play like in my entire life. Because... I thought it was going to be stuck on the Wii U and luckily they did port the game and I think it's like even a better ver version of the game because most of the features are on the Switch version and I think even the online multiplayer is even better than what the Wii U offered and overall kind of happy that Nintendo has ported these games because just like me and probably others probably missed out on the Wii U because of Nintendo's bad marketing or I guess bad guidance or information given about the console because man I feel like 
if they had a if they would have named it something different or gone with a different approach in marketing the game i think it would have sold even better and even other stuff would have sold i know they had like some good games that released for example mario kart and smash bros those probably did help the console sell but i think it would also have to do with the console's name which also was a big factor because i'm not probably the only one whose parents probably got confused on what the wii u was and even though the name is now infamous and like the legacy of the wii u is i think overall it does deserve a chance even though it's mostly its fault for failing not like the consumer's fault but overall with the wii u eShop also closing soon i think now is a better reason to try to get some of these games for example the virtual console on the wii u is amazing it's phenomenal and i think if you do have a wii u try buying a bunch of those virtual console games especially now that the nintendo switch doesn't have virtual con virtual console and it has like its own subscription service i think it's going to be better off just buying each game individually and over time if you want to buy the games physical it'll likely be even more expensive So yeah, that's the story of how I missed out on a console generation, which was basically the Wii U. And even though I did miss out, at the end of the day, I'm actually happy I did miss out at some parts. Because look at the Nintendo Switch's library. Majority of the games are Wii U games that people never got to experience like me. And they ported those games over to give them another chance to shine and I think that's amazing Nintendo did pretty good doing that even though some people might call it lazy it's kind of not lazy at the same time because it's not fair people didn't give the Wii U a chance so Nintendo decided to give their games a chance because people didn't give the Wii U a chance so that's the reason why they ported the games even though some of the games have sold well on the Wii U for example Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or Mario Kart 8 and it got re-released as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe I think that game is a big example of how even though you have a good game it, it doesn't guarantee that your console is going to be successful or it depends how you start up the console because both the Wii U and Nintendo Switch have Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 is the system seller on both. It's like one of the best selling games on both platforms. So what was the problem? You may be asking yourself. Or what I always think the problem probably was the name and the marketing of course. Because Nintendo did pretty bad in marketing the Wii U. And that's probably the only flaw with the Wii U. Which is the marketing and the way the console presented itself. Well guys, thank you for watching today's video on the story of how I missed out on a console generation. Even though I did miss out on the Wii U, I will one day for sure get it. Even if the eShop is discontinued, I will give the Wii U a chance at least once in my life. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.